Hey everyone, I thought um, since I just did this other tutorial recently on trading pairs and how to get some economy, I thought I would go ahead and explain uh, how you could hold some of your Ethereum tokens, um, any of the the tokens that are built on the Ethereum blockchain, uh, like First Blood, Golem, Economy, Augur. Uh, there's a bunch of them out there and there's going to be a lot more. So I thought I would go over how to store those um, locally instead of on an exchange. Uh, storing and holding your your tokens on an exchange is kind of risky. I don't know if you guys have heard of uh, Mt. Gox or whatever, but uh, it's a lot better idea to store your tokens off of an exchange. So I'm going to go over a little bit on my Ether wallet or Mew, um, capital M, capital E, capital W. Uh, this is a client-side Ethereum wallet, so they don't store any information. They don't hold anything at all. This is just a way to interact with uh, the Ethereum blockchain, to interact with uh, where you're storing your coins. So it's a lot more secure than holding on an exchange. So if you just watched the last video and I showed you how to get some economy, uh, this might be a good place to store them um, after you've purchased them, send them over to your My Ether Wallet location. So right here it says generate wallet, enter a strong password, at least nine characters. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have that memorized or written down or whatever. Uh, so that you know exactly what's going on there. So let's do, um, let me write this down. I'm going to make a, a long, strong password and, and then we're gonna go generate wallet after you've typed that in. Don't forget <laughs> that password though. So generate. So now it says here, Save your wallet file, don't forget your password. Like I said, make sure that you have that saved and written down and secured. And then, so it says here, key store file, UTC or JSON file. Uh, these are your, they're gonna be a little icon, it's gonna be a little file that you can save and you can put on your thumb drive or um, you could store it away somewhere safe. Uh, this is the encrypted version, the UTC is the encrypted version of your uh, wallet and then the JSON is a unencrypted version of your wallet so it's saying here if you don't save your wallet file and password we cannot recover them so this is really important I've tried to tell a lot of my friends and family that um, no one in the world will be able to help you get your your funds back or your tokens or your money at all if you do not have um, this file and your password there's nobody out there who's gonna be able to help you so um, I understand, but let's go. We're going to download. And so now we have this UTC file has been downloaded for us to open up uh, later. We're going to want to um, show in folder, and you're going to want to cut that and put it somewhere safe. You're going to want to put it into your, like I said, a, an external hard drive, or you're, you're going to want to put it somewhere where you know where it's at, that you will have access to it, uh, because that's going to be your wallet. That's how you're going to have access to your coins and your funds. So let's go. Uh, I understand and continue. So now it's saying print your paper wallet or store a QR code. If you think you may ever forget your password, save one of these, uh, keep it safe. So again, this private key, unencrypted, means that if you have this string of numbers and letters, that will give you access to your account. So if anybody were to, to get a hold of this, they don't need your password, they don't need you, they don't need anything. They just need this string of numbers and letters and they will get access to anything inside your wallet. So. This is an unencrypted version of your private key that you should not share with anybody unless you want them to have complete control and access of your funds. So private key unencrypted, it, uh, you can also uh, copy this um, and save it somewhere safe, uh, maybe with your, your wallet file on your thumb drive or, or somewhere uh, for safekeeping. Same thing with this private key, QR code scanning thing. Um, it's the same same sort of idea. 
and then um, you get again you can print it you can print out uh, a copy if you'd like to have a like a, a cold storage paper wallet so then now on this screen this is uh, telling us how we can get access to it so before um, we had clicked generate the generate wallet on my ether wallet and now we are going to um, we're going to open it so uh, if you saved that UTC or JSON file UTC being encrypted locked up requires a password JSON meaning you do not need a password if you've got that file you can uh, get access to these funds right away uh, without anybody needing to know a password or you at all same thing with the private key if you save that long string of numbers and letters you can just enter in that long private key and you'll get instant access so you got to be really careful with that because there's no password needed at all so let's go key store utc json just like we just saved and i'm going to go select wallet file and we have this right here this is my UTC file that we just created, and I'm gonna open this because this is the file that is an encrypted version of our wallet. So let's go open, and now it's asking me for a password. So let's type that password in. Oh, don't mess up. Password is entered, now we're gonna click unlock. So now in here, uh, this is our wallet. This is um, our account address, our account balance. Uh, we can click here to show all tokens, and this is gonna show us all of the different uh, Ethereum type tokens that um, this thing recognizes right now. And uh, send transaction, so if we had a couple ETH and we wanted to donate to somebody uh, to some address, kind of like the address that I have in uh, the description of this video, uh, we could go ahead and copy and paste that and uh, paste that right into the address. And then choose the amount of Ethereum or whatever tokens you have um, to send it over and then generate transaction. Again, this is our own address right here. So you can share that if you want somebody to, to send you some to some tokens. You can copy, paste that, send it over to other people. And if you wanted to send out to somebody, you would put their address in here, choose the amount to send, and then generate transaction. Show all tokens uh, if you happen to be sending over Economy or Golem or what, one of these other um, Ethereum tokens. Instead of just ETH, you'd click on this and it will show you those token balances. Uh, again, they don't store any of your information on here. This is, um, my Ethereum wallet is just a place to get access um, to interacting with the, the Ethereum blockchain. So uh, they don't store anything. It's completely in your hands. You saved the private key and you saved the UTC. So that is now yours and you just use this place to interact with it. And so if you had just bought some stuff on Kraken or one of the other exchanges and you wanted to withdraw to your private, your own um, address instead of an exchange address, you would take this, your account address, and you would copy that. And then you would put that into your withdrawal address um, on Kraken, where, where it says withdrawal. You would put this in your uh, Golem or Economy uh, withdrawal address and it would just withdraw those tokens directly to this account. My Ether Wallet um, supports um, all ERC20 tokens, all of the Ethereum uh, tokens. So uh, super awesome wallet to use. It's it's like my favorite one. Um, I would encourage you to use it as well. So this is a, a, a more secure storing of your uh Ethereum products and Ethereum. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other questions about my Ether wallet or anything else uh, that I can help you with on future tutorials. Uh, let me know, like, share, subscribe, and uh, if you found these tutorials helpful, uh, it would be great if you could toss me some cryptocurrency as well so I can keep making these free tutorials for you guys. Uh, thanks very much. I will see you in the next video.